All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Mayflower, and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. Let's uh, light a candle, shall we? Ah, uh, there we go. We got the vibes now. Um, so as a lot of you guys have probably already heard, um, I did just release a Trippy Red remix here on YouTube and on SoundCloud. Um, and yeah, it seems like you guys really enjoyed it. So um, thank you for um always showing love and support on my music. Um, it really does mean a lot. So uh, thank you. Um, it was a really fun remix to make. Um, you know, turning rap songs into dance tracks is probably one of my favorite things to do. But it's kind of become a pattern lately. Um, at least here on YouTube. Every time after I drop a track, I kind of get hit with a barrage of these comments. Um, honestly, I have no idea why y'all enjoy track breakdown so much, but you know, I'm here, happy to do it. <laughs> um, but for real, I do remember when I was first starting out, it was really helpful to uh, see other producers' processes, you know, how they got from point A to point B. I um, mean, yeah, it's kind of fun to, uh, you know, show people around your artwork. Um, so that is the idea for today. I'm going to show you guys how I took a rap song and turned it into a future bass banger. It sounded kind of cringe. I could probably think of a better title. <laughs> but anyways, that is enough talking. We're just going to jump right into it, see what we can break down. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We are inside of the project file, and um, yeah, let me open it up for you guys. Um, this is actually one of my cleanest looking project files, if you can believe it or not. Still a little disorganized, but it's whatever. Um, so I guess we can go straight to the intro, which is probably the simplest part of the track, but um, you know, still really important to uh, you know how this track carries on. So I know we're looking at the intro first because we're uh, making a video, and it kind of makes sense to start at the beginning. But um, this is actually where I started the track as well. Um, I kind of built this chord progression and then kind of built outwards from that. Um, so if you know the original Trippy Red song, you'll know that this is like uh, the, the first melody line that the song starts out with. So I kind of took the bass from these chords and then turned them into another progression right here that looks like this. Um, so the main idea for changing those chords besides like uh, the weird rhythm um, is that it actually turns from a descending chord progression to kind of like an ascending one. And that completely changes the vibe. It goes from dun 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 to this. Which is just a lot better for future bass or dance tracks in general. So another reason I didn't want to stray far from those original chords was, um, well, you know, you could say what you want about, um, you know, modern rappers not being you know musically talented or whatever but uh trippy red is actually singing along with those original chords like he's hitting a lot of these root notes in like top lines so if you've been watching my videos for a while you know i'm a huge fan of taking like splice samples putting a ton of reverb on them and creating like cool, you know, atmospheres with them and whatnot. Um, so that's what these are down here. It's something I do throughout the entire track. I love creating like uh, little reverbed backing pads to uh, go behind vocals. So here's the original. Um, and then I just kind of tucked it away with a weird EQ and a low pass filter. Um, so I guess moving straight on to the build, um, there's quite literally um, not much going on here. I use some virtual right clap samples, um, some loops, and I think most of the work is done by the vocal, which is obviously like repeating for the build up. <laughs> So I cut the bass off of this vocal for um, obvious reasons, um, but when I was making it, it kind of gave me like a like a tech house vibe. I don't know why. I kind of thought about doing it. If anyone wants to make a tech house remix of this, please send it to me. I'd love to hear it. Holy fucking smokes! I got my. All right, so I guess we're finally finally at the drop, the part you've probably all been waiting for, or a skip to. It doesn't really matter. So the drums for this drop are actually very straightforward. Just some kicks, some claps, um, and then some shakers and some cymbals. You know, all the all the basic ingredients. Um, so I guess we can dive straight into this absolutely massive chord stack right here, consisting of um, one, two, three super saws, and then two top leads, and then some type of arp.
Um, so I don't think there's anything really new to say about these super saws right here. They're just your classic variations of you know whatever you can think of or find um there are a couple parts to uh making a really good and thick um sounding chord stack um you can kind of think about it as like you're like you're making a sandwich now how oh uh, a fucking sandwich sandwich Honestly, don't know where this analogy is going. Um, but you know, your super saws are kind of like your your bread of your sandwich. You know, like you have to have it, or if it's not a sandwich. But again, it's not the best part of the sandwich. <laughs> um, they're always going to be there, and it still has to be you know good bread. But yeah, it's not the the best part of a sandwich. <laughs> So after that, it's what you put on top of the chord stacks that really brings out the uh, the personality. So that's kind of what this um, top line is doing with this lead and uh, this arp as well. I mean, that's just this weird Fabian Mazur lead and another lead from Stone Bank, just some basic presets, but together they sound pretty nice. So everything in this pattern is kind of like your basic sandwich ingredients. Um, and then everything um, else out here is kind of like, uh, you know, like the sauce. So turning off that chord stack, we once again have that weird sample from the beginning, um, but we also introduce this other one. Um, and I just kind of let those ring out together and it gives it like a, uh, a really nice um, spacey uh, high end, I guess. Um, and I guess that's the main point of my dumb sandwich analogy. Um, like just the chord stacks probably would work, but you know, these top leads um, and these vocal samples, um, it just adds a whole nother layer to it. And if you took them out, the uh, the chord stack would be really boring. So yeah, I guess all together, it sounds like this. Holy fucking smokes, I got my money up. Money up, money up, money up. Cool vibe, cool vibe. I really like how that turned out. Um, so after the drop, nothing really changes too much. I think we go straight into Uzi's part of the song. Um, Uzi's probably one of my favorite rappers of all time. Um, it probably goes like Lil Wayne, uh, Chief Keef, um, Uzi, and then Young Lean and like Blade. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so I think one of the last things I have time to show you guys is uh, this little switch up that happens in the uh, the last drop. Holy fucking smokes, I got my money. So how I have my mixer set up, I have this big side chain channel over here, which kind of everything gets linked to. Um, so all these slots are things that I want to happen to pretty much everything. Um, but for this part, it's actually all getting fed through this uh, LFO. Um, I kind of carved out this cool like uh, future bass shape right here and the rates on one fourth. So everything gets shot through this. It creates like a cool wobble effect because it's connected to uh, all of the chords. <laughs> Um, so that's a little cool trick you guys can try out, um, and you don't even have to have LFO tool, you can just do that with a, uh, a simple, like, a fruity balance or any other type of volume control. Um, but anyways, I think that is about all she wrote for this video, boys. Um, I hope you liked this little breakdown. Um, I tried to condense it and make it shorter, um, but if you guys want to see longer videos as well, um, just let me know down below in the comments. And, um, yeah, I guess, uh, cue the outro. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and or learned something. Um, I kind of like making these little breakdown videos. I guess that's kind of one of the advantages of being an artist um, and having a YouTube channel. So I'm glad you guys enjoy these videos because um, yeah, I really like uh, making. As always, if y'all ever have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Um, I always try to check those just as a way to say thank you to you guys um, for watching the videos and supporting my music. Um, so yeah, slide in the DMs. Just say what's up or send me some music. It's whatever. Um, and yeah, after this video ends, you know, close the internet and uh, go make some tunes of your own, you know, be be creative, you know, go make some music. Um, but anyways, I think it's going to do it for this one, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Holy fucking smokes, I got my money.